The inmates who train our service dogs live with them 24-7. They attend daily training sessions. They give up their time after their jobs that, they have to, that they're required to have in the prison to work with the dogs every single day. Here to tell us about training dogs in prison from an insider's perspective is my friend and colleague, Connie Hudsick. I'm probably going to get a little emotional here. <laughs> My name's Connie, and I was an inmate at Gadsden State Prison. I was released this past November in 2013. I served a five-year sentence. I went from being a successful business owner to a convicted felon on July 26, 2009, and I'll never forget it. For months before my conviction, I felt useless, depressed, desperate, and alone. I had even considered suicide. I'd let everybody down, including myself. My life was being altered forever, and so were all the lives of the people that I loved and that loved me. <clears throat> During my first year of incarceration, I still felt hopeless and useless, and I'd messed up so many lives, not just my own, but my whole family's life. I stayed depressed and could find no peace of mind. I really thought my life had been wasted. But then I was accepted into the dog training program at the prison. I never dreamed that this would change my life. At that same time as when K-9 for Kids came to the prison, I remember when Ms. Francis gave me my first dog, a white labradoodle named Tori, a brother of Buckmaster. <laughs> Tori stole my heart. I had never done anything like this. I mean, I had never even trained a single dog of mine at home before to even be able to sit. So I didn't know I would be able to do anything like training a dog for a child with disabilities or a veteran. With Ms. Francis and Ms. Ashley and all the other members of our training team, I knew that I was doing something important and I knew it would change somebody's life forever, but I never dreamed how much it would change mine. My feeling of being worthless quickly disappeared. I started to feel important again. My first dog, Tori, he didn't finish as a service dog, but he's now been certified as a therapy dog, and he's touched so many people's lives in need. Then came Emma, my soulmate. <laughs> this is Elijah Gage's service dog now. I didn't think I could get close to another dog after Tori. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I knew from the moment I saw Emma, she was going to be my soulmate forever. During my incarceration, I faced a lot of personal challenges. I missed the birth of my first grandchild. I missed being there for my family through sickness, important decisions and hardships with my children. I couldn't be there. I couldn't be there for my family. This would have been unbearable for me, except for every day, Tori and Emma and all the other dogs. They could take me to a place that nothing else could, no other program or therapy group or anything could. I felt like I had a purpose. I knew that these dogs were not just changing the lives of the recipients, but they were changing and saving the lives of the inmates who were training them, including mine. An outside person could truly never understand how hopeless a person feels in prison. I remember during times of sadness and feeling alone, I could look down at the end of my bunk and see one of the dogs and realize how actually I was so lucky to, in that prison. You know, I had the unconditional love of my dog right there at the, my feet of the bed for anything and everything that I needed. I could tell that dog and I was surrounded by razor wire. It's nothing only another inmate could truly understand. Being in prison is like looking out of a dark hole feeling like there's no way out. My way out was through the dog program. It gave me something to share with my parents and with my grandson. It gave me purpose and it gave me meaning. And when I was disconnected from the outside world and all the people that I loved, it gave me hope. Being a dog handler in the prison is a privilege and an honor. We had to earn it. No one could ever, ever feel as privileged as I do to be now with all these dogs here and their families and the recipients 
and know I had something to do with each and every one of them that are here. It just fills my heart. This program just didn't change the lives of the dog recipients. It changed the lives of everyone involved. It's a God thing, and I do thank God every day that I got to be a part of it. I'm grateful every day. Thank you.